Drive-Ins. Hamilton. Black Plague. Xbox One S Series. Uh, Marvel Comics. Indie and DC. So much more. And next. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, I'm Frank. And I'm Adrian. And you're watching New Comics Preview at Emerald City Comics. <laughs> if you are watching us for the first time, oh, that's right, make sure that you like, follow, subscribe, comment everything that you're seeing right now on YouTube. Tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your mortal enemies, tell everyone you know about us. Do it now. We do have a lot of topics to go over, so let's try to do that now. Also, we have a big week of comics, so we wanna make sure we save time for the comic wall and all that. So, um, let's start with TVs and movies, is, is. Uh, I got a show for you. It's called Solar Opposites. Ooh. It's on Hulu. It's only on Hulu. So get Hulu and watch Solar Opposites. If you like Rick and Morty, then you're going to Friggin' love Solar Opposites. It's, uh, I don't think, I don't know if Dan Harmon is involved in Solar Opposites, because it says it's created by Justin Roiland and Mike McMahon or something like that. Oh something like that. Anyway, uh, Justin Roiland does the voices. It's about these aliens who, uh, left their planet similar to, like, a Superman situation. Their planet was getting destroyed, so they had to leave. They crash-landed on Earth thinking it was uninhabited accidentally. It's not. Boy. And, uh, they hate humans, so, um... Me too. Yeah, it's totally relatable. And uh, it's super, super funny. Um, I wouldn't say Rick and Morty is for kids, but I would definitely say Solar Ops is not for kids. They push no. it a little nope. bit far, farther than uh, even Rick and Morty does. So watch out there. They don't but... have to worry about the Cartoon Network censors and all <laughs> no. so they just went straight to Hulu. Yeah, that's and... what it is. Whew. That's exactly what it is. Um, and man, they, they push the envelope. Uh, I watched the whole series in two days. <laughs> anyway. Uh... <laughs> Um, yeah, the next thing is on Netflix. And it's not Princess Unicorn. No, it's called Mind Horn. Um, if you've ever watched The Mighty Boosh. Yeah. Um, that, I'm a super big fan of Mighty Boosh. Uh, old Greg, you know, all that. Um, okay. uh, Julian Barrett from Mighty Boosh, who plays Howard Moon. Uh, he is Mind Horn, and it's basically a movie about... Uh, this dude who used to play <laughs> this character Mindhorn, who was like, his his <laughs> he wears an eye patch and his eye sees the truth. Anyway, just the ridiculousness like a, a, of Mighty Boosh. It's, it's a terrible like '80s TV show. Anyway, fast forward to contemporary times. He's a washed up actor, <laughs> failed. Uh, everybody hates him. And uh, but there's a murder, and the prime suspect is wanting to speak to Mindhorn, and so you can see where that all gets crazy uh it's it's honestly it's not the best movie in the world but if you're a fan of mighty boosh you're, you're gonna love it it's sort of that dry humor that uh that you've known to have come in love for whatever from mighty boosh um uh moving right along dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hamilton hamilton is on disney plus i'm a big theater nerd and this yeah, yeah. show was so good very well done hilarious parts the rapping, singing, it was all good. All the characters, awesome. My name is Hamilton, I'm here to say. I'm here to change the world in a positive way. That's definitely <laughs> part of it, yeah. You haven't seen it yet, have you? No, it's, I haven't. It's good. If you're, I'm, my, name, my last name's Hamilton. Yeah. If you're not a theater person, it's definitely worth a watch. Um, if you do like rap, if you like singing, it's good. It's mm -hmm. really, really good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. On Disney Plus. You know, speaking now. of movies and TV shows and things like that, you know where I haven't been in a long time? A movie theater. Yeah, I haven't been to a theater in a long time. Honestly, I, I wasn't really a theater person because I don't really like movies. You know what I mean? Same. I like theaters, <laughs> but like midnight shows. That's about it. Right, 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 right. Well, uh, and someone had talked about this earlier uh, because of the whole COVID thing. Um, drive-in theaters. You know what I mean? Why, bring those back. You know, because then you can stay in your car, you're corona proof, and uh, you know that would be a good thing. They're definitely talking. There's been talks about you know the viability of bringing back drive-ins across the country and across the world, maybe I guess. But um, you know, there's a couple of things that are wrong with it. A, 
uh, drive-ins closed for a reason. There's I still e. a drive-in, uh, Silver Moon Drive-In. Sure, sure. There's I saw, one. I saw Aladdin there. Right? Sure, there's one. And Godzilla. Uh, but mostly they closed because people stopped going to them. Yeah. And, um... Obviously, there's there's a there's a demand for it now. Uh, I there there's some kind of weird talk about Walmart converting 160 of their parking lots into drive-in theaters. There's no there's no, I know it's fine. okay all right Walmart okay are you not using the WalMarts I don't know well I don't know what's going on there that's a lot of that's a lot of parking lots but um, you can uh, check out the progress of that at Walmart Drive hyphen in walmart drivein.com there's this whole project and they they update it i don't know it's, it's pretty wild i mean it's kind of um, interesting because a lot of places are still closing at like nine o'clock so right after usually walmart 24 hours right i've been to walmart a lot 2 a.m but they close at nine well you, you know use them for night exactly movies. exactly and we can we can start putting these movies out you know what i mean mulan <gasps> that that thing was pushed Soul. back you know what i mean yeah exactly Damn it. like there's so Whatever many cool going. things that we should be watching and we're not because there's no theaters um amc <gasps> movie theaters uh they're saying they're gonna be opening their movie theaters on uh july 30th they were saying july 10th that's been pushed back uh 20 days almost three weeks so i don't know if that's gonna actually happen you know everything is just a day-to-day yeah, it's a day-to-day yeah. sort of situation you know what i mean um okay video games xbox is having their game event july 23rd yes so excited for this. Halo. Uh, the big thing is Halo Infinite. Mm -hmm. uh, potentially, hopefully, we get price point, right. uh, release date of said Xbox, and um, they re-upped their trademark for Fable. So there might Ooh. be a Fable 4. Fable. <sighs> that would be awesome. I love the Fable games. Yeah, those are always really, really fun. Uh, you can only play those on Xbox. Xbox. Do you... Do you uh, are you... Do you do the... I mean, I know you play through both ways, but are you a bad? Do you start out bad? Do you start out good? Do you try to balance it? I start off fable? good. Really? I'm naturally just a good person. <laughs> and then I Aww. go through after, and so I don't feel as bad about myself, I'll do the bad choices. The bad... I don't know. I just... <laughs> it's the first thing that I do. I, I just like... Uh, I like being. I mean, I get it. You're playing a game to get out of your world. Yeah. But I don't know. I just yeah. I still like it too connected. It hurts. <laughs> okay, PlayStation. PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation wow. Plus is celebrating 10 years of PlayStation Plus this month. So they're giving you three games. Uh, the lineup, though, I'm not really too excited about. Honestly, I'm excited about one of them. Yeah, Rise. Which one? The, the Rise, one you're about to, Rise of yeah. Tomb Raider. Yeah, Rise of Tomb Raider. Uh, it. it I, you know, I've never was a fan of the Tomb Raider games. I know. It's Always pretty been. wild. I, I don't just never cared about it. Um, but Rise of Tomb Raider looks pretty dope. It is it's cool. It's very Uncharted-esque, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, but you play it as a lady, so that's cool. Wow. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, uh, I guess, is it a prequel type of Yeah, game? it's more, it's prequel-esque. Okay. I played through the, f actually, I played through that one. That one was good. It's got mm -hmm. a lot more, like, climbing puzzles and survival stuff, where the old right. one was just more like puzzles. This one's right. really good. Uh, so that's free on PS Plus. Uh, NBA 2K20. Uh, couldn't really care less about basketball in general. Uh, I don't really watch basketball and I don't play basketball games. However, it's free, so I'm gonna download it and I'm gonna mess with it. You and the last I mean? one, uh, one called Erica. Erica, Erica, which I definitely couldn't care less about. Again, it's it's a it's a sort of narrative driven yeah, it's, like it's one of those story driven games it, yeah. it looks cool visually uh i, I figured just watch a movie you know i don't have I mean? a playstation so i don't care about any of these i mean i'm gonna download it you know what i mean i will just try it out because it's free you know but i delete those types of games pretty fast off of my library because i just don't care about pushing a button and then watching a cinematic for 45 minutes I, I, people like it i'm sure it's cool i don't so whatever, do with that information with you, with what you will. Uh, I really like to see an NBA Jam remake. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. He's on fire! I, I actually was playing it out the other day and I found my uh, NBA Street Volume 2. Oh God. That game was so much fun. Or, or Punk Shot? Punk Shot. Y'all know Ooh. about Punk Shot? That's a good, now that's a basketball game right there. Uh, anyway, so what else do we got? What else do we got? Uh, so ever hear of the bubonic plague? Ever hear of it? Yeah. The Black Death? Well, they found it again in Mongolia. It's happening. Uh, it's not that big of a deal though, because it's super curable. Uh, it uh, affects nearly seven Americans annually. 
And uh, as you know, bubonic plague is a bacterial uh, thing, and you just take some antibiotics, and that clears it right up. Honestly, it's not a big deal, but it's kind of crazy, you know? It's kind of like, what yeah. the hell? Um, you know, Black Death. So yeah, with everything uh, going on, we need more. I know. What's what's? It's the like line? Mongolia. Get it together. You know what I mean? Uh, bubonic plague, dude. That's so like, sixteen hundreds. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's do comics. We've got a big week this week. We got DC. We got Marvel. We got independent publishers on the shelf. And Marvel is back to normal, I believe. Are they? Uh, comics and trades. Are they every week? I'm asking you. I don't think. I mean, maybe. You know what? That's a good point because we do have comics. Marvel Comics and Marvel Trades this week, so maybe they are. They might be back. Maybe they are. We'll uh, see next I know, week. Uh -huh. I know, yeah, we'll definitely see next week. That'll be the uh, the test. Um, this is our first week using the new DC distributor, and uh, it, everything seemed to go pretty well. Um, you know, I had to double up on everything, but, you know, tasks and shit. Whoa! <laughs> so lots of comics, lots of uh, incentives, lots of uh, books, so let's go check them out right away hold on hold on and we go <laughs> we got a lot of comics so let's get started right away first up it's adventure man number two next it's sabrina the teenage witch with many lovely variants oh look at that one that's colorful it's like a lisa frank uh deal Come grab it Wednesday. Continuing with the Joker War, it's Batman 94. Hey, that rhymes. I should do it all the time. Batman, the adventure continues. Number two with a sweet looking variant. Cool. More Joker War stuff. It's Batman Detective Comics number 1023. Oh my. Batman's Grave number eight. Hey look, it's Willow from Buffy. She's got her own comic. And there's a variant, and there's a variant. Come grab it Wednesday. It's the Flash 757. Ah! Empire Fantastic Four number zero. It's Deceased Dead Planet. Another miniseries. This one is a one of seven. Look at that. Ooh, Blade oh. Runner. That's cool. Wait, 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 wait. Come on now. Come on. about the horror. <sighs> Harley Quinn, number 74. <laughs> oh, oh boy, it's Justice League number 48. Oh, with a variant. Oh, oh. And down the road, oh, Justice League Odyssey. Oh, 22. Oh. It's been a while since we've had one of these. It's Marvel's X number four. Oblivion Song. It's the oversized issue number 25. Holy baloney, Bats Boy. This one's called Skylin, issue number one. And hey, look at that. It says it's free. Strange Academy, number two. <laughs> X-Men, X-Men, this is the day. Uh, it's God Loves, Man Kills, the extended cut. Many variants, many tasty variants for this one. And there's one more. Magneto, yay! X-Force number 10! Hey, Adrian. I got a fever. And the only prescription? New books. <laughs> Wow! Book wall is full to the brim today with new bookie goodness for all. Let's check them out. First one is, this is kind of an oldie. It's already been out, but not with this awesome all red cover. It's Bowie, Bowie. Stardust, Ragons, and Moonage Daydreams. Ground control from <laughs> the age of uh, We also have the Cobra Kai Sweet trade the paperback. Leg. Sweep the leg with this one. It's the full miniseries there. We got a couple of books down here. It's The Dreaming, another volume, volume three. And then we got this one by Sweeney Boo. Eat it's called love. Eat, love, love Yourself. That's, uh, those are words to live by. We also have another volume of the DC Superhero Girls. This one's called Weird Science. I like that movie. Uh, flash Forward, uh, Flash number 750, this deluxe edition over here. That one's pretty cool. Uh, we've also got another uh, volume of Green Lantern. Und we also have The Hulk. Another hardcover, beautiful, beautiful cover there. Uh, what else? We got, we still got more. Uh, X-Books, 
Marauders, Volume 1, Manga, The Kingdom of the Gods, uh, Kill, Kill, Killadelphia, Kill, 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 Killadelphia. That was a super awesome series. Uh, there wasn't many available issues available, but uh, if you haven't read the story, grab the volume right there. It's right there, guy. Uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. We got one. We got one. Uh, Undiscovered Country. That was another one that was really, really good. Uh, uh, Scott Snyder, Charles Soule. I mean, look at all those names. Come on, man. Grab all of these and more. Wednesday. <laughs> I took the camera. Uh... I'd like to order your best variant. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. Look at this table, though. Come on, man. Incentive variants are uh, just, like, killing it this week. Uh, we've got this one from last week. I marked it down a wee bit. That's the designer. And then this week's Batman variant is uh, this guy, the Underbroker. And uh, he's on the table. Uh, we've got... Uh, Empire Fantastic Four variant. We've got a couple of Willow variants. Willow. Jen Bartel and Mirka and Dolfo. We've got this bad boy, which uh, is not Batman. It's Sumerian. Red Nails. And then we've got a Strange Academy. And we've got an Inferno Tide. And the only time to get these is, uh, well, starting tomorrow. And uh, once they're gone, they're gone forever. And you can never see them again. I know, it's very sad. But don't worry, because you'll have your opportunity tomorrow at 11 a.m. At? Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald City Comics. Yes, I know, that's wow. why I was saying. Wow! wow, what a week! What? We finally got a pretty full week. We've kind of had some little baby comic weeks in the past, but this week, uh, we're bringing it. We're bringing it hard and fast. That's how we do it here at Emerald City, just for you. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Uh, Batman 94, that's a big one. Uh, we got The New Deceased. Uh, we got X-Men, God Loves, Man Kills. We got- Willow! X-Force, we got Willow. We got that freebie Skyline on the shelf. Uh, we got some sweet variants. We got some sweet toys, games, uh, vintage, all that stuff. All for you, all day, every day at Emerald City Comics. But uh, new comic book day is Wednesday, every single Wednesday, which is tomorrow, if you're watching this Tuesday night, like a madman. Uh, honestly, that's really all we have to say. Um, you got anything else for the kids? Come buy your comics. That's a good one. Free comic book summer. That's right. Free comic all book week. summer is all coming summer. up very, very soon. We've still got some firepower on the shelf. For, that's a new one from Robert Kirkman. And then we got Skyland number one. So, you know, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff for everybody, for the kids, for mom, for dad, for grandma, for everybody that you know. Bring them in tomorrow, Wednesday, at Emerald City Comics. We open up at 11 a.m. Well, I hope to see you here on Wednesday. Hope to see you here Saturday and Sunday. Oh. Oh, weekend. I'm here oh, all the time. The weekend boy. Uh, all right. Well, I guess there's nothing left to say except good night and good luck.